So you can fill up the questions and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Hello guys, my name is Jumpin' Jackson, and I'm here today to interview the most famous Bay Area, Adonis Concierge. He's amazing, and I can't wait to see what wonderful things he got to say about why he went into comedy and what inspired him to be a great ass comic. First of all, who is Adonis Concierge? What is Battlefoot? Like, what are these names that I've heard about? Okay, so uh, my name is Donald Adonis, and Adonis Concierge came about when I started to pursue cosmetology. So I was in school, going to beauty college. I just became a Donna's concierge. It just sounded really, really good. I had a little situation going on, everything worked with that, so that stuck. Um, so that's how a Donna's concierge comes about. Um, we can call me Donnie. You see me in the street, it doesn't matter, but Donna's Donnie, same person, doesn't matter. And then Battlefoot, um, so as you would need to understand and know that I have a prosthetic, I lost my leg as a child, right? Um, now, that's the truth. If you ever meet me and you ask me what happened, I'm gonna give you an option. The truth, I can tell you a story. And if you don't know me, if you've never seen me, you probably don't get the story and not the truth, okay? But um, Battlefoot is my prosthetic leg. It's Battlefoot, right? And I can't do anything without him. This is the biggest support system that I have. I have, have great friends. This, this, this is my number one day one. He ain't going nowhere. Now, uh, I, I got Battlefoot like right after the pandemic. So it's, it's 2023. So I got Battlefoot like 21, the beginning of 22. And the, the 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 character the the persona that Battlefoot is is really my insecurities and my nervousness because we don't do this and it's a challenge or it, it doesn't have to be a challenge so Battlefoot is really just my anxiety and before Battlefoot there was Sugarfoot and before Sugarfoot <laughs> <laughs> that was my nigga Wang. <laughs> and they're all different because of different phases of my life. Like, I've started this health journey now. So, Battlefoot is the healthiest tip top prosthetic that I've had. Sugarfoot wasn't shit. I was in a very, very small part of my life when I had Sugarfoot. And Wang, we was just in them streets. It was to the window and to the wall. With. So, everyone, every, every prosthetic has a different character persona because it was a different part of my life and we all that was all on different different pages of activity. Yeah. Alright, so Adonis, like I see why you're doing comedy, but what are your dreams and aspirations? What are you hoping to get out of this comedy? You hope to get money? Or are you hoping to, you know, you just want the world to see who you are and you just what are you trying to get out of this whole comedy special you're trying to create? Um dreams, goals and aspirations. Uh, a, a big goal of mine is to travel the world, right? Um, no, no, no. No, I do want to travel the world. Dreams, goals, and aspirations. The goal is to get the $3.3 million deal, okay? The movie deal, the contract, the $3.3 million deal. We're just going to put that out there, take that, give it back, and, and let it multiply, right? Um, my goal... Or my goal is to, or my dream is to, like I said, and go back and forth, is to travel the world. You know, um, where we are in the world, as the world stands, I would love to take my family to see the world before what natural wonders we have are not here. I want to have that experience. And my aspiration is, I mean, you know, like, in the best heartfelt way to say it. Everybody fucked up somewhere down the line. So I just want to be, my, my aspiration is to be and continue to be like the best example of maybe what was broken but not shattered. You know, put the pieces back together, you keep them together. 
you know, or you can just like recreate it, but never just like over or shatter. That's pretty sure. Just keep going the whole thing together. I'm going to do it. You can do it. He can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Next question. So like, define funny, because I know that your comedy type, you know, is something that could be very uncomfortable for most. <laughs> at the same time, it could be funny. At the same time, you won't feel guilty for laughing at the fact you only got one leg. Because I have rights. <laughs> yeah, speaking of having one leg, I have rights. Okay? And I have rights to talk about old people, ugly babies, and other handicapped people. You know, I, I really don't care. And, and I think that would be, my comedy would be defined as the an uncouth truth. Now, I haven't looked up uncouth, but I know that shit mean raw in some, in some form. It's just the raw truth, whatever it is. It's my truth, shit. You know what I mean? It's like, exactly. if you can just understand and listen to me, I think you're going to get it. And you're probably going to feel just the same after I finish saying my shit. <laughs> put, all, put all the fences aside. <laughs> Don't think about nobody you really, really know or yourself too much. It just, it is what it is. I have one more last question here. You know, it's such an inspiration to, to know that, you know, you went through this experience, you lost your leg. And most people, they would have lost their leg. They would have lost themselves. They would have been mm -hmm. on skid row on drugs, something terrible. They would have low self-esteem. You appear to be so confident, and I love your confidence. What has inspired you? What has made you, you know, I like, know what, fuck the world. I'm going to make the best of myself. What have gave you that encouragement? Who was, who inspired you to be a diamond concierge? Who made you in a sense where you created yourself in your own image? Like, you know what? I'm going to make it in this world, and I'm not going to let anything stop me. How do you get to that person? Well, mm, that's a big, beautiful ass question. I'm um, gonna give you a, a nice, 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 handsome answer, right? Um, it's, it, it breaks down. Life actually gets you from one point to the next. So I believe wherever you started, you wouldn't be the same where you're probably gonna end or where you are currently, right? And you won't be the same where you get to the next phase, correct? So you're constantly evolving. So you could be all just me growing and living life, learning lessons, and taking note and reapplying them as a part of that. Um, second part is, my life began when my marriage ended. Okay, I, I thought I didn't have shit. I had lost everything. Kind of the COVID had hit. I thought I had had cancer. That woman didn't want me no more. Wouldn't gonna be no kids. Wouldn't be gonna be no life. And I had to rechannel all of that. You know, and something that I said earlier is uh, a challenge, right? It doesn't always have to be a challenge. You know, as I said, COVID, I didn't know if I had cancer, and I was going through a separation in my marriage, right? And I made it. How you gonna handle it? And I made it. I'm still gonna make it, because I'm making it still, right? That's right. And so it's all of that is who Adonis Concierge is. Because I wasn't always, um, the real definition of what those two words mean. Adonis means, you know, the most beautiful of young men, right? All right. Now, I'm flattered to be able to live up to that definition because I'm not that fucking young. I'm 40 plus, right? And, you don't look it. <laughs> and concierge is, um, that is like a, you know, a chauffeur, someone to help you a guy. Right? So so my definition is, I, if you listen to me on my comedy platform as a Donna's concierge speaking, I'm just a beautiful way to go in this bitch. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and we're going to laugh all the way through, you know, because that's when we're at our beautifulest, when we are smiling and enjoying the moment. And that's when I'm here to apply with you with my comic aspect and all that good old shit. Thank you for tuning in and listening to Adonis. Please like, subscribe, and share his content because he's going to be the next, the next biggest things that's going to hit the market. I love you guys. Bye now. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice.